is on Grapevine Road, we have a, at least one culvert that it's, it's kind of deep mm -hmm. and it has a big concrete header on it that the yeah. state put on it years ago. So I had a company come out and look at lining it, mm -hmm. you know, relining it. Um, it seems like a pretty viable option. It uh, is a 30 inch pipe. He, I got a quote at home. And it's uh, a sufficient size for what you need right there? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's The problem is it rust mm -hmm. in the bottom of it. That's what the problem is. The pipe is still round. It holds the shape. The bottom line is um, it's eastern pipe lining or something from over yep. in Bow. Mm -hmm. And they, they do stuff with the state and towns and whatever. Yep. And basically the process is it's a, uh, a plastic pipe that mm -hmm. it gets folded up and rolled up on a reel. Mm -hmm. And it has memory. So they roll the thing out, they heat it, they have some sort of torch method or a big, large heater, and they close mm -hmm. the and it expands back to a normal, you know, round shape mm -hmm. and seals up the whole inside of that. And it's a viable option. Um, you don't have to dig the road up, so you don't, you know, that's a savings. Mm -hmm. This particular culvert's kind of deep. The pipe alone for the job would be $2,000 to buy a concrete pipe. And then there's this large cement head. Mm -hmm. And the thing's behind a guardrail, we could do the job, but we'd really, we'd have to recreate that whole header on the side mm -hmm. of the road and the banking and all that. And I, I honestly I think, think this is a, oh, it's probably about eight feet deep. So you'd have to have a cold, you'd have to have a box. Or slope it box. back quite a bit. You know, probably it's, yeah. you know, six feet deep to the top of it and it's a 30. Right, so you're going to need a trench box. Yeah, I know. So that's an involved job. Yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. The whole process of changing this one mm -hmm. is kind of, uh, you know, it's labor intensive. Yeah, it would get into some money. And then again, like I said, we'd have to, after we're done, we'd have to create a whole new stabilization program for the bank, banking and a new header. So I, that's why I had him look at it. And it was, I thought it was kind of a viable option. So that's possibly something we could do to encumber that, get mm -hmm. a solid contract for them. Yep. And, and do that. What and that point did they give you? It was $7,000. I mean, there's two or three different companies that do it, but two or three different processes. There's another one called Snap Tight, which mm -hmm. is basically pieces of pipe that you know, put in there and they pull them together and come along and then they right. grow it around the outside of them. Mm -hmm. These individuals used to do that, but they found this is a much mm -hmm. better option for them to install. Yeah. So, and I, I don't know if there's anybody else that does that or not. It's right up there as far as like the bid process and all that. Oh, he so that's, a, that's a telephone quote. So I, no, he came out and looked at it. We talked yeah. about it. I, I wanted yeah, three telephone quotes. Yeah, okay. But I mean, uh, this guy came out and looked at it. I had him mm -hmm. so I could uh, yep. find out if it was even a viable option. <laughs> he said it was. And actually, I had him look at another one. And the other one was an 18 inch culvert. And that was like $5,000. And I was like, that was too much money because we're going to tear the road up anyway, so we just changed that. Yeah. Because that was a... Well, that's the section you're talking about. It's the, the good road that the state put in not that long ago. Yes. So yeah. you don't want to mess with it anyway, right? Well, no. I mean, that's the one we mm -hmm. we got to deal with it. I mean, it's something we don't have to deal with tomorrow. We don't have to deal with it next year. But sooner or later, it's kind of... Are there any other call that's in that section that you'd have to do with the same? same there's, there's one, and I may... I hate to say it, but I think I might have dropped the ball with this one. I didn't realize the whole story behind it. Mm -hmm. It's aluminum on one end. And that's the end that I went down and I looked at the pipe and I looked up the pipe and I said, oh, this one's fine. We don't have to change it. And it's aluminum on one end. And I was talking with Simon on death in mm -hmm. reference to it. And he said the other one had is metal. And I haven't gone up to really look at it yet and see if it is. So that why one... Why would you just buy metal? Yeah, mean, two separate, two yeah. dissimilar metals like that. Well, because back in the mid-90s, they added a piece on oh, it. It was okay. an existing culvert, and they reconfigured the road. Gotcha. And I mean, that was just, you know, well, to save sense. a buck. Mm -hmm. You know, to stretch the money as absolutely far as they mm -hmm. could. So, for whatever reason, they ended up with a piece of aluminum. And the aluminum mm -hmm. seems much more resistant to the acidy water. Mm -hmm. and, I, and the rest of it might be fine. I just haven't really... But other than that, that's it. So that brings us to Grapevine Road. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to do something with another hundred thousand dollars this year. In a warrant for paving. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather see it in the operating budget, but we don't seem to be. 
clear and doing yes. it that way. But we're that hasn't been our modus of operandi no, for the last is. few I, years. I so. that. The only thing that makes I'm a little concerned with is we've got a gentleman that wants to bring a petition in to get his road paved. And now I just think we're having voters start to make decisions on whether we're gonna pave this road or fix this road or fix that road. It just kind of makes me nervous because it kind of could turn into the popular vote versus the electoral college. <laughs> <laughs> which, which brings me to a question. Yeah. And pardon my ignorance, yeah. but I see highway construction and paving, and you're carrying the same number, which is almost to, uh, just a little under 262,000. Yes. So I'm wondering what you anticipate to do with that next year. Well, that's where I was going with that, as we would continue our, our third phase of Grapevine Road. Mm -hmm. We've got the two phases done in the most labor-intense part of it. This last phase is approximately a mile, because we divided it into three miles. It does not need the extensive work that the other two do for the drainage and all that and the gravel. It's a culvert, though. Yeah. The, uh, the thing is, we have a couple options there. And they're, they're good options. None of them's horrible. The first one is just to, it's overall the shape of the road is pretty good. There's a couple little spots that need to be addressed, but nothing major. We could put a shim layer of asphalt over it and a top coat. And that would probably, to do that, would cost approximately $100,000 to do the paving part of it, plus some related work, pretty incidental, a little ditch work or whatever. So, having said that, that would pretty much, and when I say 100,000, it could be 98 or 105, but when you do the numbers, you calculate out what we're paying for payment today based mm -hmm. on overall an inch and a half of pavement on the road. Mm -hmm. So, okay. having said that, we have to back up and put a top coat on the section that we put the base on this year, mm -hmm. which is a mile again. And it's about 100,000 dollars. Well, it's, it's a little less than that, actually, for what the price that we're you got to put shoulders on and the whole process. Yes, and work so mm -hmm. we did that. That's what we did this year on the first section, mm -hmm. and which has worked out well. So we could do that on the next section. And then that third section, we could just finish the whole job up without doing it. You know, without doing the grinding and because we don't need to do all that work. Now, we're going to have a road that's three miles long. Two miles of it have been ground up and a little bit of gravel and a layer of gravel put on it and rebaked. So we have two thirds of the road are done one way, and then we have that last third. The last third is overall good overall condition. Mm -hmm. However, it would be I don't want to don't want to say the Cadillac plan, mm -hmm. but it would be a good idea to grind it up, use that leave that material there like we have in all the rest of our base, and then put a small layer of gravel on the pavement. However, having said that part of it, that would probably escalate the total cost of that phase by about fifty thousand dollars. So you say about 150 to do that. Yeah, so I mean, if we want to try to stretch our dollars out more, we could just put a layer of, you know, shim it up and put a layer of pavement on, and it would be adequate. The uh, I got some input from a guy, uh, Kevin Leonard, who the town mm -hmm. hired, the planning board hired to oversee the new road construction project. And they had to replace a culvert under Grapevine Road as part of their program with doing their new road project. So we had a pretty good cross-section of the materials and what was under the road. And, you know, I was trying to pick his brain about it, what his overall thought was. It. And he said, well, I'm sure you got a lot of roads worse than this that you'd rather be fixing. And I said, well, yeah, we would. So, mm -hmm. you know, he, he's like a six to one, half a dozen of the other, you know. Mm -hmm. He said, if you want to, you know, do the best job you can, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you, you know, you're really limited with the funds, maybe you should just quite a bit of time so that's something that kind of got to wrangle with it's I guess my question is and you probably don't have a, a straight answer on it because you probably don't know is if we just shim it and put a top coat on that set last section will it last as long as the two that you've ground up and probably things? not because typically what happens when you do that the cracks still mm -hmm. come up through it yeah. um, what we will do is we'll do an aggressive crack sealing even that new section, because it'll it'll crack. I mean, if, I, anybody, oh, yeah. you know, if anybody, 
it's said it will go. It's New England. It moves all the time. Mm -hmm. So that's the key when you've got a good mm -hmm. pavement surface is to follow it up with a regular crack sealing program yep. because that's fairly inexpensive. That keeps mm -hmm. the water from getting in under the pavement, causes the problems. Yep. Um, so we're going to institute that part of it anyway up there. And I just, I mean, I to be honest with you, I'm kind of torn with it because we have a lot of extra other things that should be getting done too. However, having said that, mm -hmm. either way we go, we can, we're going to would as a town would see the benefits of putting this extra money in the Warren articles over the next two years because we're really going to start to gain some traction then as far mm -hmm. as getting some of this paving done and getting caught up. We have a couple subdivision roads that need to be overlaid as well. Mm -hmm. and the plan was to go over to Montalona Road and start doing some work over there and, and that side of town. So, you know, that's kind of up in the air. And then also, also there's one thing that makes a difference is what happens with that Warren article? got to have a plan, I understand that, but if it gets turned down, we have to regroup and try to stretch things out as much as possible. To be honest with you, to really answer that question about the third section, I'd be comfortable either way with it. I mean, it has a pretty good ride on it for the mm -hmm. most part. The shape of the road's pretty good. Um, again, like I said, there's, there's an area where we have a frosty, and we dig that up to see what, there's a big rock or something that moves around, we can remove that. A couple other spots mm -hmm. like that. Overall, it's in pretty decent shape. <laughs> hmm. The only difference is about 50 grand, though. Well, that's what I mean. It's like dangling well, that carrot. You yeah. know, it's like for 50,000, we get the, the grade A job, mm -hmm. or 50 plus. Off, we get a yeah, B plus, plus job. So, I mean, it's like yeah. at the end of the day, it's still paid. You know, it's, a, it's a better service, better to maintain and all that. But that's. We don't have to come to that decision. No, but we don't. And I didn't think, I mean, I just wanted to give you the quick overview because mm -hmm. Bob was curious, so I knew that would be a question. But there's, there's plenty of directions to go. But, so I guess I understand the thought process of asking for a warrant article. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to do that again if we could. If you as a board of selectmen can see yourselves clear to go that direction. I can't speak for the other two, but I mean, I would be inclined to do that only because we've yeah. told the town that's what we plan on doing and, and yeah, spend and the process. Yeah, really so. it's worked well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, like I said, this mm -hmm. after this year, we could really start to reap the benefits of it because it. Oh, we've got to do something because, I mean, it's the top exactly. of it throughout the I mean, federal government on down infrastructure. We don't take care of our infrastructure, we don't, we don't go anywhere. Yeah, and, there's, and it doesn't, uh, we've had this discussion, I've said this a yeah. hundred times, but. It's not going to go away. No. It just isn't. It doesn't make any difference if I'm the guy in charge or the next mm -hmm. guy or gal. They're going to, the same argument's going to be here mm -hmm. with the selectmen in the town. It's just something we have to do. Well, I mean, you are the subject matter expert on the roads. Um, my personal opinion is you know, look at your suggestions on which direction you want to go. Yeah. Uh, well, not to throw it back in your lap, but I mean. Yeah, no, you know, I know. I mean, I want to make the right decision, right? But you know, then again, sometimes it's like mm -hmm. just keep throwing money at something isn't necessarily right. Again, like I said, it's New England, and it, I mean, granted, it's a crapshoot. I mean, you know, we just shim it and overlay it. I mean, you get ten years out of it, and if you grind it, you might get fifteen or twenty. I don't yeah. know. No, you're right. In exactly, that's about it. And you know, that shim mm -hmm. and overlay, we had some pretty decent luck over in your neck of the woods doing that without really doing much. Yeah. And I mean, it's the frost seeds are coming back. And oh, yeah, they the are. road's getting a little bit like it's this. Getting but I mean, it's still, it's like better than it was. And we it's crack right seal it. So, I mean, it helps. So, I mean, you, it's a viable option. Once you stick the shovel in the ground, that's when it really starts to. I mean, pavement's expensive, but if you can keep your road shaped mm -hmm. so when you go back and you can just overlay it with a, a uniform mm -hmm. layer of an inch or whatever asphalt, you can really get some stuff done. I think when the state does like 13, lies, they figure out like three quarters of an inch. Mm -hmm. They use a, 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 real thing. a sand type base of yeah, And But that's why they, they keep going back and keep going over mm -hmm. to keep the shape and keep it sealed up. Yeah. But we're not really at that level. But they also use a grade to apply it and like, <laughs> grade it doesn't do a great job. Well, no, but I mean, then a lot of times they'll shim it and then they leave it for a couple of years. And, mm -hmm. 
So that that's with my budget. That's where I was at. I mean, obviously, you know, like I said there's just no way we're going to go for that, or the town's going to go for. It. We'd have to do something else. But I mean, we can. Have, I mean, when we're not carving stone, we can still have a discussion whether insert it in the operating budget or go with a warrant article. But yeah. I mean, either well, way it goes, we still you know to get the work done that we need to get done. Yeah. yeah. You know, I just sometimes I think it's good to give the townspeople some direction. Mm -hmm. um, and back to the that core money, the two hundred and sixty-one thousand, mm -hmm. we're having the discussion about the school parking lots. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe we're gonna have, maybe we want to see a code and do something. So that's where that money would come out of. Too. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't think, and Mick, correct me if I'm wrong, and I don't think you would be looking at really having a special warrant. Would that be the way to go? The, or a seal code? Yeah. I, I think that's something just for the general maintenance. <coughs> yeah. you want to no, that's fine. That, I that. assume that, and that's kind of mm. the way we've been looking at it over the last few years. Yes. That would Those parking lots aren't in that bad of shape. I mean, seal code no. would extend the life out of them, so we don't have to keep, you know, yeah. thinking about redoing them. I mean, the one in the section behind the fire station, yeah. the chief is. That's too far gone, yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a basket. And place. unfortunately, with that, that's just, it's been. Kid, you had a bedroom. I mean, mm -hmm. The patch was done here when some work was done at the fire station, and some work was done at the school, and another little section was done. So it's all kind of a hodgepodge mixture yeah. of stuff. Like Where the rest of them are, are fairly uniform mm -hmm. and all done the same. Way. I mean, the uh, the school parking lot, the lower one, I think mm -hmm. that unit was built, and you correct me if I'm wrong, Bob, because I think you were involved at 1989 ish or something. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 99, 2009, I mean, we're coming up on it. It's had a good, given the town pretty good service. We did crack seal it once. Mm -hmm. On the lower part, so in the upper part. Not, yeah, crack seal not. So anyway, I was waiting to get feedback from the paving guy to see what he said just to run it by him. So they would be still coded now. They no, 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 too late. To I just wanted to use them because for yeah. a, uh, uh, to get a, ballpark price of what it would cost. Mm -hmm. So for argument's sake, I didn't, you know, mm -hmm. I figured we'd put something like that out to several other crack seal and company, uh, mm -hmm. seal coating companies, is yeah. what I thought. Mm -hmm. They do offer that service, Advanced does, but. Yeah, they get companies that do it all the time. It's, that's yeah. all they do. Yeah. All they do. I think this with them is kind of a, it's side. a side thing, you know, they do paving and it's like you pick the phone up and mm -hmm. you guys paved, you do seal coating, yeah, we do that. It's not their mainstay. Right. But I just thought that we'd be able to get some sort of number to kick around. The, the maintenance part, which I figure that would be under maintenance, but mm -hmm. when you're getting into a large segment of money that you dedicate to the road, mm -hmm. I really think that, you know, whoever's at the meeting, need, I think they need to weigh in, you know? Yeah. But that's my personal opinion. I mean, it's worked out, I think, fairly well the last couple of sessions. I mean, obviously. Yeah. We've had it gathered enough support to get it to pass. Um, that's your argument. Well, people, <laughs> but I think people right. understand it. But that's my point. That's mm -hmm. your argument for your presentation. Mm -hmm. You know, and then they either have to understand, or I don't know. You know, I, yeah, I don't know which way they're going to go. But all I can say yeah. is that mm -hmm. they need to weigh in. You know. The unfortunate part is a great number of people that vote on this and, and contribute to it don't even live on a town road. And they've been very supportive, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, yeah. yeah, two years. Yeah, I mean, you, mm -hmm. Route 13, Mansion Road, your road, mm -hmm. Every Dam Road, mm -hmm. 77. I mean, there's a lot of homes on it. Like I said, they don't hardly hear much of a kick from any of those people at all. They all see yeah, that. All of us that live on a town road also pay gas yeah. toll and all that stuff that goes into yeah. the block no, it brands. And, you know, it's all part, you know, so we all have a stake in it. Yeah, it's all our responsibility. But it, it's pretty easy to say, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's not my road. I don't live on it. Exactly. So. Yeah. Can't right. say from my house. I don't care. Yeah. From yeah. downtown, it looks great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, no, that's good. Yeah, no, I, I mean, that, uh, and Joan, by all means, way in, but I mean, far as um, <laughs> options and stuff like that, I think you know, between now and the time we solidify the budget, yeah. it's up to you for that. Uh, that suggestion on what you think is the right way to go. Like I said, I, I thought I had an in with the town, you know, engineer guy, and yeah. that was the answer I got. He's right, but yeah. it's like, 
What do you? What's your honest opinion? Yeah, he doesn't want to take it. No, nah, he's not gonna come in. I mean, he's no, it's to, okay. Man. He just wants to be neutral. I mean, if we right. if we said, hey, listen, you know, mm -hmm. what do you think? Obviously, he's gonna give you the whole engineering report and go. Right. Off the top side of the room, question. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll give it. May or may not know because I don't remember off the top of my head what the traffic counts are. But you know, what great line gets for traffic. Yeah, that was kind of a skewed number. If you yeah. remember correctly, the guy that did those, yeah. that was the same as some other road, and I don't. Yeah, and he was going to correct the chart. Oh, yeah, he did. I don't remember. It was it like was. 400 yeah. trips a day over the Bella Brook area there, which yeah. was we knew that was wrong. Yeah. I mean, right now though, mm -hmm. we have a twenty. 22? 22 lot subdivision in the process of going in. Well, I mean, I think that's something we might want to think about weighing in on as far as whether you take and grind and not grind yeah. because, I mean, if, as the traffic increases over the years, it's going to get more and more use and abuse. Yeah. I mean, just with I the I'm just throwing it out there as a thought because, I mean, you know, everything weighs into a factor. It's becoming a, like all the roads in town, it's becoming kind of a shortcut because a lot of people that live in that section of Bow mm -hmm. that may be going that way in New mm -hmm. Boston or well, the probably They'll cut up across. The buses do, yeah. And I can't quite figure out that gal's schedule. She goes at six, and then like at seven. They get high school and they grammar school. Yeah. Sometimes she'll, depending on what time of day it is, she'll cut up. I had a discussion with her about it. Mm -hmm. I tried to figure out what the route was. One day. And <laughs> later in the day, mm -hmm. she, like around <clears throat> six o'clock, she'll come up there mm -hmm. because she runs a, a, a late bus, a late bus from the school, mm -hmm. and there's quite a bit of traffic on thirteen and that mm -hmm. way. So she'll. Come down oh, White Rock, uh, Page Road, and cut across the street. Go up White Rock boring. and down Page and over. Mm -hmm. So she does that because they don't, I guess, from what this gal told me, mm -hmm. and I don't know if it's just here say or not, they really don't like them going over Dunbar Center Road. Yeah. It's a, it's a long that, section. Yeah. yeah. With that whoop de doo is there by the people named Butler. But it's yeah, they got that horse farm there. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah it's, they kind of like to stay away. This is. I don't know if this yeah, is. It comes up and it goes all around. Yeah, I don't it's know. It's not a straight over. I don't know yeah. if that's a well, cast in stone or that's just her opinion, but that's the discussion we had about well, that. I mean, it's just a bad section of road. Yeah, because right I, I was trying to figure that out. I thought I'd ask. Yeah. It's uh, pretty cool on a bike, but I'm yeah, not sure on the back of a bus. I'll take my motorcycle over. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll give you that. I've, I've gone over it yeah. sometimes. It's Right side of the road, sometimes you're not, sometimes the other car is, sometimes the other car is. You just want to be on the correct side of the road, you Hopefully, you don't need, but. Yes, indeed. So, yeah, the buses do use it too, sir. And that has increased since we went to Bowling. Before, that would be something two trips a day, morning and afternoon. So, yeah, there's a lot of road in town to come shortcuts like Twist Hill is one. Oh, yeah, you know that. You see that every day. It's just. Yes. Well, especially in the summertime when you get holidays like Memorial Day, yeah, Labor Friday, Day, Fourth yeah. of July. Fridays, yeah. Just to give you a heads up there, Chief, <laughs> if you're listening, there's a yeah. huge amount of traffic on the Friday afternoons and Sundays going through there. I mean, we're talking, I think one time. We, I counted like 54 Massachusetts yeah. plates. Exactly. In a matter of it's, minutes. We're just driving from We have the traffic North road. counts on that. Yeah, but it, yeah. It, it's skewed because yeah. it's only, it's. Yeah, you don't know. If that's only the a, Tuesday and Wednesday, yeah. you don't get the weekend. Exactly. <laughs> It has increased. We kind of did it. The holiday weekends are the tough ones because yeah. everybody tries to avoid 93 and use those. Yeah. 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 Friday nights. Yeah. Yeah. Because we broke that into segments like we did from the town line mm -hmm. to Morse Road, then Morse Road to Woodway Road, then Woodway yeah. Road. We try to see where they come from. If there's a through pattern, like. Mm -hmm. And it, there is. Oh, yeah. Pretty substantial. I've witnessed it all summer long. This summer was more so than the rest. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think the, I think the more people traveling in general. Well, not just that the, um, the, the GPS? GPS is the Garmin's and oh, yeah. Tom Tom. I think they're finally catching on to it and they're seeing it as a, as a straight shot and it's a shortcut. Yeah, no, I so, think you're right. And they're no, sending them that way. Another option. Anything else for just across the world this year? No. Well, he's here as yeah. an aside. <laughs> Have you heard anything about Ray <laughs> Road? Oh, jeez. <laughs> not really. No, I don't blame you for asking the question. It's, it's definitely a question. Well, you know, come March, they're going to ask Oh, no, I, it's just, I, 
Yep. It just seems to be, I thought dealing with Michio was going to be a pretty simple process. Yep. And it's going to be, but there's three of us involved, and mm -hmm. we're having a little trouble all being on the same page at the same time. I mean, it, and, gotcha. and they, I talked to him today because he had called me the other day and had a couple of questions, so I called him back. And uh, I talked to him, and I kind of, you know, mm -hmm. I, I don't like to badger people. Mm -hmm. I don't like to be badgered. I don't like to badger people. So, you know, I told him, I said, you know, really get, I'm getting a lot of pressure. The town's getting a lot of pressure. You know, we have a commitment from the taxpayers to do this. And I said, I was kind of under the impression that this is going to move along quite quickly. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to, I don't know exactly where we're at with him, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. But I got to sit down with him and the guy Anthony Costello to design the, the size mm -hmm. of it and all that. And of course, you know, he, the first thing out of his mouth was said next week. And I said, well, you do know what next week is, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it would be nice if it happens, mm -hmm. but I gotta, we got to set it up tomorrow. I mean, Thursdays are pretty much a wash, and most people aren't doing too much on Friday, so a holiday week. So I have no faith, unless we can get together the first of the week, that I'm going to actually sit down and talk to them. So that's. And it's not happening between now and. The end of the year, that's for sure. No. So I mean, you know what it's going to bring. Nope. They probably haven't even made it yet, have they? Nope, they have not. So we're talking spring at the best. Yeah. Well, we wouldn't put it in the winter, right? But that doesn't, it doesn't lessen it. Yeah. Yeah. doesn't lessen the questions. Yeah. Like, I, I just, I was surprised. I was like, gee. But it, again, I mean, that just seems to be the stumbling block to us. Like, you just, I mean, I know. Nobody, you can't just shut down because it's the holiday weekend. It's harder to get everybody together because people make plans. Yeah, or... yeah, and you know, we can't plan. I was hoping. Mm -hmm. So I'll call him back tomorrow. I said, I'll give you a call in the morning and we'll see what we can do. So, do the fingers crossed. Yeah, I. Well, just... once they're done with it, then you still, you have any other permitting issues that you have to do? Well, they got to finalize that, yes. And they're taking It's just, you know, again, like I said, I thought it was going to be a pretty simple process after talking about it, as far as getting on the but it really hasn't been as simple as I thought. And, you know, everybody's too they're busy. That's true. Everybody has a list of things to do. You got the truth. So, yeah, that's that's where the, the budget. Mm -hmm. um, no, that looks pretty much. Knocking around and see what you think. That if you look through it and you mm -hmm. see the places where we have a, a surplus as of now, mm -hmm. I mean, where we you would expect them, snow related issues. Yeah. Yeah. And we've been fairly accurate, I think, over the years with that. We haven't, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes we've, we've gone over, but for the most part, they usually are pretty good. Yeah. And then between, you know, for the next, what we got, what, eight weeks? We've been out six weeks ago? Six, seven weeks? Six weeks, yeah. No, I mean, I don't, unless yeah, we have some, yeah. a blockbuster store. Yeah, ice like store, some crazy thing. Yeah, which we had before. It should happen. Uh, speaking of which, how does it go on your garage door? Oh. It isn't fixed yet. <laughs> I can still, the trucks we have, we can still fit in, so it's not the end of the one. Oh, that's good. So the new person you got with the truck will fit still? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Two people online. Supposedly, yeah, I don't think they've... For what quotes? No, for the uh, plowing. Oh, yeah. Bill's yeah. son, Wayne, yeah. has a truck, and he's getting it all ready to go. Okay. Nate Naris is, yeah. wants to get involved with us. So he's going to use his one ton? No. He, I told him we didn't need a one ton. We have enough of those. Yeah. And my understanding, the last report I got from him and Simon, that he was buying Simon's truck. Simon was in here yesterday. What did Simon have to say? He hasn't approached him yet. He hasn't, well, it, that's the thing. So, and Simon told me he was going to work with him. Well, I mean, you know, show him the ropes and work with him. So, that, to be honest with you, that is going to be, it, what it would do is I would give him my route mm -hmm. and I would take a little bit of a backseat and have my truck as a spare truck to help mm -hmm. out. 
So we're covered even if he doesn't get going. Gotcha. But I told him if he got going, there would be a place for him mm -hmm. because we do need the help. If we don't need it this year, we're going to need it next year or the year after. Understood. So if he wants to, if he can get it all together mm -hmm. and start the season, that's fine. I and mean, like I said, we yeah. can, we'll make room for him. But if he doesn't, we're covered. Mm -hmm. But you missed the earlier conversation about getting younger people involved. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, and, well, yeah. Uh, Nate had sent a letter into the town, yep, and, yeah. so we mm -hmm. talked about it. Like I said, you know, and mm -hmm. that's what we need is a larger truck. Yeah. And I did was approached by a guy who I had talked to earlier in the year about it, mm -hmm. and uh, he was uh, he could help us out if we needed a hand. But I told him as it right now. Yeah. It's, we'll leave it up to you. You're so there was a little more interest than I thought. Well, I, yeah, I, it's going to work out one way or the other. Good. Hopefully, Nate can uh, get everything together and he's still and get the program and, yeah. and uh, learn the ropes and be part of it right. if he wants to be. Well, I know you still you want to get that door done. Right? Yeah. Done. I mean, if you can. Well, if I can get a commitment to get the thing installed. Well, like I said, I mean, you know, you have it's a, not a big job. It's just the time. Get a get a um, what you want to call it there a commitment as in yep. writing like contract stuff we can yeah. cover funds if you have anything left over. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because yeah, it's like the door. I think the mm -hmm. estimate, quick estimate we got over the phone was like thirty five hundred dollars. Right. So, but I mean, so, yeah. but we need to have something in writing so we can yeah. say, commit those cover those funds. Okay. And Good idea. I'll work with you when I get back on vacation. Yeah. You're going on vacation? Just Every day. Days. Are you on vacation? Yeah, the second person answered that today. <laughs> it was the first. I don't fall apart, huh? <laughs> that may be true, but we'll pick it up when we get back. We'll call it. Yeah. <laughs> or pick her up when we get back. We'll text you and see if you miss us. <laughs> when did you tell the vacation? This Monday. This Monday? Yeah. Oh, good. So I guess, I mean, uh, I think you may have probably heard it's just, you know, the, the little projects like your door and where the yep. cracks on it, you know, if we can get some of those things, sure. you know, I, this is my opinion, I mean, I, I just throw it out there because, I mean, either we lost some money and then bring it back, you know, for those projects, yeah. or we encumber the funds now if you can, you know, get some commitments to it and that way we know we can get yeah, those I, projects done and not have to tackle the yeah. next year's budget. I think that's a good idea, like I was mm -hmm. mentioning about the culvert. Relining yeah. them because it, they've already, we've already mm -hmm. raised and appropriated. Yeah, yeah, I understand it's good to have a surplus and, and not go over, but it mm -hmm. you turn them back in and you know, we don't, we might not get it back. Well, in you know, the scheme of the whole thing, mm -hmm. sometimes it's not very much. No. Yeah. It's, it's like the reward good. is more mm -hmm. satisfaction than actually monetary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, those are things that need to done culverts. So yep. If you have a couple of culverts or whatever they need, and how you fall in it. I'd like to really do this relining mm -hmm. because we have several mm -hmm. in uh, Footlock Farm that need to be done in metal culverts. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to take this guy around and show him a bunch of ones. I just one specific one and, and well, get a price on that. You want to try one first? <laughs> yeah, yeah try that, see how the process goes and mm -hmm. see what it ends up with and then possibly at some point do the ones in Footlock Farm because that, mm -hmm. it's in... Uh, section that when we started out with concrete pipe mm -hmm. and then the planning board relaxed their regulations at some point and let them to put in metal mm -hmm. corrugated metal pipe yeah. well those are the ones we have been having the problem with <coughs> the section that we actually did a bunch of work to and rebuilt mm -hmm. which was the worst section those pipes were concrete and they were all fine mm -hmm. and the next section that we're not going to tear up we're just going to do a layer of pavement on <coughs> our need to be lined or replaced. They're fairly mm -hmm. long culverts. The sure. beauty of that particular job is you can close the road and come in from a different end. Mm -hmm. So you don't, you know, you can if it lapses into more than a day or two, yep. they, people have access either way. They just have to go a little longer. So that part of it isn't bad, but the overall cost with mm -hmm. paving, patching the road and all that, it might be more feasible to find it if they can. Yep. So that like to try that and see how mm -hmm. the overall process is, if it's satisfactory. Again, like I said, I know the state and some other towns are doing quite a bit of it now. 
cost effective. I mean, that's yeah. Sure. And I say it's plastic, it's not going to rot. No. And the, the, pipe, the integrity of the pipe has to be pretty good out of it. And these appear to be other than the this channel side. down the middle. That's a problem that happened with the, the bridge. <laughs> yeah. The, the edge is down. Water line. Yeah. All right. Well, I've taken enough of your time. So you can get on to something Thank you, else. Yeah. Well, thank you. Else you. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow, so I can wish you a happy day. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Maybe. Bye. Have a good night, Jeff. Thank yeah. you. Confirm that it's 52, not 53. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I've had to do for these has been recalculated. Yeah, I know. Because last year we kind of like went, oops. It's just yeah, the same amount of days, but it's just where the payrolls fell. Yeah, yeah. where the paychecks yeah. fall. Yeah, yeah. okay. So, and we've got confirmation it's 0.7 for 12 months ended 2015, unadjusted. Yeah. Or do you want to take a make a motion and then have a discussion with a few guys? We can do it either way. <clears throat> well done. So we can have a discussion on it. I'll make a motion that we take and continue with our policy of giving the town employees a raise for the next calendar year based on the CPI a point in from the Department of Labor Bureau Labor Statistics of 0.7% for calendar year 2017. I'll second that. Okay, so we have a motion and a second. Discussion. I'll open the floor to everybody here. Well, I think that's the prudent thing to mm -hmm. do if we're going to look at changing things. It isn't just before the budget mm -hmm. in a rush. It's not during the budget, mm -hmm. but after the budget, if you want to relook, you know, mm -hmm. re-examine that, that's mm -hmm. the thing to do. I mean, yeah. And the CPI is actually, I was saying that earlier, mm -hmm. it's better than the cost of living adjustment, which came out at minus, it's minus two or minus oh two. Yeah. That's what the one came out for 2015. <laughs> so, you know, you're looking at yeah. that and you want, mm -hmm. you understand why retired people mm -hmm. who's, going by the cost of living, the COLA, yeah. it goes by what the feds have, and last year was a minus, so they got no increase. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's been like that mm -hmm. for quite a few years, so it, right mm -hmm. now, at this point in time, I think the CPI is the way to go, and if we're gonna re-examine that after mm -hmm. budget period. Yeah, makes sense. <clears throat> so in other words, point minus two, then we can go by that far. You guys owe us money. Mm. <laughs> I just want to see you in your face. <laughs> I don't think you want to go there. No, yeah. I don't. I'm just kidding. I just wanted to see what her face was like. Yeah. <laughs> She's thinking. Yeah. <laughs> she got the filter money. It's probably a good thing. Well, in all honesty, uh, the, CPI, the CPI goes by the majority of the indexes for mm -hmm. all of the consumer right. affairs, where COLA mm -hmm. goes by what they've all they've already taken so much out mm -hmm. and it goes by those fixed mm -hmm. items that don't move mm -hmm. yep. and if they did well like what real estate or the, those types of things that took a plunge mm -hmm. you know they got affected by those issues well, and the price of gas going down well it's funny you say that because if you look at the list of uh, <coughs> the cpis for the specific industries energy is the one that they're all in the negative you know I mean, energy commodities, gasoline, fuel, oil, energy services, electricity, utilities, 
All items less food and energy still, I mean, that's, um, you know, that one's at minus 0.4, so I mean, everything's down on the energy side yep. sector, so. Did they count New Hampshire in that? This is, uh, is our energy costs haven't gone down. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's yeah, the, using all 50 three. states. Yeah, I know. That's that's right. Right. Yeah, you yeah. US city average. Yeah. Oh. I think I could say, I mean, I don't, did we? I'm trying to remember what the policy was. Was it just a New England one? Yeah, that's what it is. If you look at the very top yeah. corner, it's the um, bourbon something or other. Ur yes, the urban. It's east, northeast. It says it's somewhere in there. I read it. It says consumer price went to December 2015. Consumer price index for all urban consumers, CBIU, declined 0.1% in December, which, you know, on a seasonally adjusted basis. Uh, uh, do we not see anything in here about New England? I think it's just straight for the, the whole U.S. So, right, right in the top. Corner underneath the staple, maybe. No. Nope. No. No. That's on. That's yeah. on the other. Another page. It, yeah. What have What you have to do now is pull out every single occupation, mm -hmm. then go to northeast right. and get that index for that, where that so kind of generalizes up. everybody, and this is what mm -hmm. the average is throughout all fifty states. So I mean, I don't think it's any much different than that. No, I don't think it is. I, I'm almost certain I read exactly that, but mine didn't have. Uh, <coughs> for instance, uh, the uh, one, the other yeah, one that there. I gave you. This is this one I couldn't read as easily as that one. This is what I came up with, and it's um, from the Department of Labor, and yeah. it still says it's a yeah, point. Yeah, New England information. Yeah, yeah, and it's a point seven on that one as well. But I like the chart that's on the other one. It just gives a monthly breakdown. Yeah. For a total, that was just a, a, gotcha. a summary. So. You'd have to break it down by occupation yeah. and yeah. click on northeast and mm -hmm. see what is it we did for one occupation, mm -hmm. which was slightly lower. Yeah, no, I, I this know, is the one that we so. typically go with, and that's a match with it. And just every year, I try that's to the same one you used last. I, yeah. I went and got I, the same. Yeah, this is Boston, Brooklyn, Nashua. Yeah. Nashua. Yeah. So, all right. I, I would tend to agree with you, Bob, that uh, you know, this isn't the time to start changing horses in midstream. You, know. you end up making a rush decision that yeah. afterwards you wish you could have corrected this mm -hmm. or that or the other thing. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't make mm -hmm. sense to know. to a vote. So all those in favor for allowing a 0.7% CPI based raise for the town employees in 2017 say aye. 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 All right. We have a raise. Okay. Well, make sure everyone... Yep. Yeah. So, healthcare. Okay. Moving on. This we're heading towards mine. to do this back to back so I'd save some paper but um, and I like the large paper because it's easy mm -hmm. on my eyes. Um, Mine so too, thank you. basically I gave you this, this oh, the condensed version that we you got last week. Mm -hmm. And I took each sheet and applied this template to every plan. So the That's first true. cover sheet and the left and I did add a Column A, I'd asked you on the email to look at column or row G through mm -hmm. J, but because I've added so that if it's easier for you to reference a number for the mm -hmm. row, yeah, it's a little bit easier to follow. So we're looking at row H is um, the rate for 2016. Last year we changed the plan midstream in December, so we had to um, we had two months under one plan and ten months under the no another oh, plan. Is that what that yes. So. Mm -hmm. Rather than have a separate sheet, I just combine the combine two. Them, yeah. um, 
This is just basically showing you the rate for the 10 months, <coughs> the majority of uh, the expense, and then I added the two months at 18469 So that's the combined total. Okay. And then the yellow beneath it is the um, stipend for 2015. Again, it was, look at number f line 40, where it says total yeah. stipend. 10 months is 13042 and then we added another 2696 So the... Stipend in lieu of health benefits was fifteen seven thirty eight for a total annual expense of one oh seven eight ten. So you combine the two, or actually, I'm sorry, you combine the, the stipend with the uh, total medical, and you have a one twenty three five forty nine for two thousand sixteen. And then you go into uh, column I. Mm -hmm. The best way for me to explain it to you is to do one month. So you can see the change in rate from previous year in mm -hmm. column J, and then calculate it on 12 months on K. Yep. So J is the change? J is the change. Okay, that's the very idea. top yep. section is the single rate, two-person rate, yep. family rate. Okay. You can see it's a $43 change for single, 86 for two-person, and 116 for um, family. Then moving down, um, the easiest way for me to um, Explain, explain it to the board was doing the 12 months in the column K, but if as you go down to row number 14 and 15, you can see that there's two amounts there because uh, the family plan will apply for seven months and then it drops down to a two-person plan for five months. Mm -hmm. And then, again, you can follow that, you know, uh, line 18 mm -hmm. as um, town expense is a... Uh, 100% for the single plan, but then a number of the uh, employees fall under their 80-20 plan. Mm -hmm. So you can see the difference that